My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. My soul says yes. Everybody clap your hands. Hallelujah. We go through different things in life, but when you make up your mind and say yes to the Lord, it ain't always going to feel good. It ain't always going to look good, but you make a conscious decision to trust him. Come what may. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's able to do everything but fail. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. 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 Everybody clap your hands. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Oh, can't nobody do me like. Oh no, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Do me like Jesus. Oh, yes. I know that can't nobody do me like, oh, no, no. Do me like the Lord. Do me like Jesus. Oh, yes. He's my friend. Oh, he healed my body and told me, oh, yes, he healed my, told me to run on. Oh, he oh my, told me to run on. Oh, yes. And then he picked me up and he turned me. Oh, he picked me, turned me around. Oh, yes, he turned me around. Oh, yes. One more time, I know that can't nobody do me like. Oh no, do me like the Lord. Do me like Jesus. Oh yes. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. 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 Can't nobody love me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody keep me like Jesus. Can't nobody save me but Jesus. Oh no. Nobody. 
Nobody, 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 that can save, nobody, that can heal, nobody, that can keep, nobody, that delivers, nobody, that provides, nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody, nobody, say I can't find nobody. 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 Oh no. Now I need somebody that's grateful for the love of Christ. That was there when nobody else was there. That kept you when you didn't want to be kept. That saved you when you didn't want to be saved. That healed you when the doctors gave you a bad report. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's nobody. And I mean nobody. 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 Nobody loves you like the Lord God we serve. And he's greatly of great praise. He's worthy of great praise. Oh, come on and bless him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together mother he said I sought the Lord and he inclined unto me you need to know you serve a good God God is in control even when everything is out of control I said God is in control that's why in spite of what it looks like, you still owe him praise. In spite of how you feel, you still owe him praise. The old psalmist said, this joy that I had, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. In other words, I don't care what you do to me, you can talk about me. Hallelujah. You can scandalize my name. You can lie to my face. 
stabbed me in my back, but God still got me in his hand. Hey! I said, God. I said, God. I said, God. Hallelujah. safe place. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, my redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm trying to move on. But you need to know God is still working miracles. Hallelujah. I said he's still working miracles. Hallelujah. And if he ain't done nothing for you yet, just hold on a little while longer. Because God is in your neighborhood. He's healing sick. He's mending broken heart. He's making rough places smooth. Yes, he is. Don't you start nothing. And it won't be. That's it, Lexi. That's it, Lexi. Hey! Oh, God. That's what real friends do. I 
I said, I got a reason. To pop. Oh, I got a reason. To praise him. I said, I got a reason. To praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it, Hezekiah. That's it, Hezekiah. My God today. That's it, honey. Don't y'all fool with power. Help! I said, don't you fool with power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God today. He got it in his hand. I said, y'all acting like God got it in his hand. I know what some of y'all been through this week. And y'all walk in here today and have the audacity to praise God. Some of y'all should be depressed, frustrated, confused bewildered, drunk, and high. But when you know God's got it in his hands, it don't matter what you go through because somehow, someway, God is going to get the glory out of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel him today. Hallelujah. 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 This is how, how you start your birthday off. There ain't no strawberry Hennessy for me today. You started off with a praise. Glory to God. Yeah, God. I just, I, I, we got to move. We got to move. Can, but can I say one thing? I'm going to preach in a minute. God, God bless you, sister in the back. How you doing? This your first time here? You've been here before? Okay, are you all right? You comfortable? Okay, all right. Because they act like this sometimes. They don't act like this all the time. This is some, some, sometimes, you know, you know, they realize what God has done for them. You know, some Sundays we come and we don't know what God has done and we sit like we in the Catholic church. Hallelujah. But it is impossible for you to come into the house of God. And God has not been good to you. Hook up our fire. And you not give God praise. You not give God glory. Hallelujah. I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a way maker. I know him to be a deliverer. He's my strength. He's my peace. He's my power. 
Yes, he is. He's my bridge. Oh, yeah. That's it. Stop looking and tap in. Because <laughs> what are you doing for the ones you're looking at? He'll do it for you too. Hallelujah. What camera am I on, Cleo? Some of y'all at home need to tap in right where you are. God is still healing. Yes, he is. God is still making ways. Yes, he is. Right? You might not be in the church today, but the church is in you. Right in your living room, God can touch your body. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Drive it in your car. God will move on your behalf. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. You ain't got to be here for God to touch you. You just got to open your mouth and say, any way you bless me, any way you touch me, any way you move on my behalf, I'll be satisfied. I said, I'll be hooked that day. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Ooh. I feel breakthrough today. I, 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 I feel breakthrough today. I said, I feel a, a breaking. Hallelujah. I feel a breaking. Hallelujah. I feel chains breaking. I see yokes destroyed. Stop. Hallelujah. I feel his presence. I feel his presence. I feel his presence today. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ye God, ye God, ye God. Ooh. Sister Lisa, how's your husband today? It, wh where's he at today? Where's he at? No, he's in ICU. No, he's in, he's in the hospital. They don't know what they gonna do. Where you say he was? He's home. He's home. He's not in ICU no more. Hey! I said he's home. Yes, he is. Went through the storm and the rain, but he's home. Had a rough place, but he's home. daughter at? Did she come today or is she home? Where your daughter at? She home, Cleo? She home? Oh, she in the car? I thought she had AI somewhere. in a minute. Ah! I'm going to preach in a minute. Don't y'all go nowhere. 
we're going to finish this week what we started last week. Just be patient. This is just what happens when the saints start believing in God. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I said these signs, oh God, shall follow them that believe. Look at this. Look at that. Hallelujah. These signs. What kind of signs, Pastor? Healing and deliverance. Yes. Yes. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to move. We got to move. I'm, I got to finish the message. I got to finish the message. God blow. You, you got to let the wind of God blow. Now, I got to say this for grown folk. When the wind of God blows, you have got to allow the wind to blow out what you don't need. So it can blow in what you need. Y'all missed that. I said, you got to let the wind blow, honey. It's going to blow some stuff out, and it's going to blow some stuff in. Hallelujah. Glory. I got to move, but... get in trouble. If she could be home fixing him a bowl of soup rubbing his feet just watching him making sure he's okay. But she said I owe God something. Ha! I said I owe God. I could imagine that. Honey, I'm going to praise God. I'll see you when I get home. Hallelujah. You got to praise God sometimes before Gru came. Look, the air back there done broke her arm. Was it in two places? Two, two places. Two places. Her father done worked 17 days straight. How many was it? Seven. 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 S-E-M. Team. 
Could have stayed home to tend to their daughter. Make sure she's okay. Hi, right, Kara. How you feel, sweetie? You all right? By Sonya Cassidy, and Linda by Sonya Kalasha, huh? And Linda by Sonya Kalasha, not even the doctor. Mm-hmm. And when you get the hard one on, ask the doctor, say, "Do we need Jesus?" Cleo, Cleo, and G could have stayed home to stay, but they came to church. They could have split duty and said, we're going to leave the children home. But they pressed their way. Let me tell you something. There is a blessing in when you press past how you feel to be in the house of God. Some of y'all might not know this, but God got his head on this house. That, in, in other words... In other words, that don't mean, that mean whatever you do from without, and for some of y'all trifling Negroes, for whatever you do from within, will not stop the plan of God for this church. Hear me clearly. For whatever you do from without, and for whatever you do from within, will not, if you don't know what that means, say, I don't know what that means, I'll tell you. Don't, don't nobody know what that means? Okay, from without means you're not a member. You're not going to stop the plan of God for this house. And from within means you are a member. You're not going to stop the plan. I just want to make it clear. Because God got his hand on the house. God got, got his hand on his old crazy trifling leader. Hallelujah. I know I'm crazy. God got his hand on me. <laughs> let me see. Let me, let me, you can talk all you want to talk. But that ain't nothing but hot air. <sighs> Hallelujah. I want to say something. And if you don't move, I'm going to call the pastor. Let me get on with the message. I just want to say something. I promise if I say it, somebody going to move. Mother, they going to move. Unless they going to quench the spirit. We ain't talking about no bad stuff. Is it a good thing? Y'all couldn't, y'all, y'all, y'all couldn't see it behind the desk, but she shook it. She shook her butt at me one time when she was singing. I said, oh, you demon. I'm trying to mess my mind up before I preach the word. She said, oh, good. I want to prophesy. Some of you that are here and some of you all that have joined us via stream, I want to say one thing to you. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. But what the devil meant for your evil. God is going to turn it for your good. I said, what the devil meant for your evil. Just hold on a little while longer. Because God is going to turn it. He's going to turn it for your good. waiting on God to do something. Just rear back and yell, turn it! Type it in the chat. I don't know what camera I'm on, but type it in the chat. Turn it, turn it. 
Turn it. If you don't know how to spell, it's T U R N space I T. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. And if you really want God to turn it, the I T make it both capitalized. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. For my good. That's it, that's it. Turn it. Turn it, I said. Turn it. In my finances. Turn it. In my body. Jeremiah. Sit down, we honor God. Hallelujah. God, prayer. He is, he is here today. Prayer. Hallelujah. That's it. That's how you act when you want them to do something for you. Get, hey, 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 uh, Garrett, uh, uh, I want to relieve you of duty today. You've been on your feet for 17 days. Just get a chair and have a seat today. Just, you, you, you and Jonathan, Joe Nathan, y'all just sit down today. It's all right. Whether you're standing or sitting, you're both packing, so I still feel comfortable. <laughs> Be no Charleston here. <laughs> Want to honor God for all of you, God's children. Amen. Everything to this point has been wonderful. Amen. To my lovely wife, to our guests that are here today, we thank God for you being with us. To those that have joined us via social media, we bless God for you. Listen, listen, listen. What's camera? Listen. How y'all doing? Is anybody on this? Think they turning it? it? I'm gonna tell you something too, though. I be hearing in the streets. I be having more folk on the Zoom on the thing than to be in church. I be having folk that listen. How y'all doing? Uh, yeah, it's good. I I heard some folk that be on the Zoom on the stream every Sunday. Oh, seeing if you all call me this week. Goodness. But listen, my birthday is tomorrow. I'm still on this one. My birthday is tomorrow. Praise God for all of y'all that are on there. Type in happy birthday, Bishop, if you can hear me. I'm going to holler in a minute. But my birthday is tomorrow. Uh, and and y'all do know I pastor three churches. I mean, one church in three locations, right? We have, we have Power Harrington headquarters. We have Power Sussex down in Laurel. And we have power online. I pastor these folk. The hood, I pastor them. They see me in the street. And they say, Bishop, keep on doing what you're doing. I said, who is you? They said, I'm one of your online. I said, God bless you then. God bless you. But listen, my birthday is tomorrow. And I'll be 41. I know I look, I know. God has been good to me. His hand, his hand is on me. I know I look young. I know, I know you thought I was like 24, 25, but I'll be 41 tomorrow. See, see, when you back to enjoying being a pastor, you don't pastor under duress. But I, I, I know y'all don't know this, but every Sunday I preach to y'all, try to encourage y'all. I don't be knowing who y'all are until y'all see me in the street. My birthday is tomorrow. And I want you to love on me tomorrow. Nah, you're going to forget. Love on me today. Like I've been loving on you. I, want, I need you to, matter of fact, Cleo, I was going to get them to write it down. 
But some of them driving, some of them still in the bed, you know, but they ain't got no pen or nothing. So I need you to pin this in the chat so it can be before them. Uh, 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 what is it? Dollar sign? Bishop? 627. Let me say it again. Dollar sign. Not hashtag. That's the F with the two lines. B I S H O P 627. My cash app. I ain't calling nobody's name out. Hope don't know who you are. Ain't none of their business. But I got some drug dealers that tune in. I need to strap your boy. I got some. Some corporate America people. Look out for your pastor. <laughs> and everybody in between. Dollar sign. Bishop. Wasn't that a TV show back in the day? That play both of them. Bop them three. <laughs> hey, Sister Hope, they don't believe, don't do that. <laughs> Let's get to <laughs> Jeremiah. Jeremiah. If you don't mind, be a blessing to me. Be a blessing to me. blessing to somebody. Some of y'all ain't going to get it. Bishop, I want you to spend this on me. I want you to do it. Just do what I want with it. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we want to we wanna finish uh, what we started last week. I told you never start something and don't finish it. None of y'all missed that. Jeremiah 33. Uh, Jeremiah 33. I'm not going to read it the entirety. But let us go down to uh, 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 the uh, 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 sixth verse. Jeremiah, the 33rd chapter, and, and the sixth verse, six to nine. Uh, would you stand in reverence for the reading of the word? Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and, when, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Verse 9, and it shall be to me a name of joy a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness. You may be seated. The word is blessed. I want to finish. Uh, he's got the whole world in his hand. This week, once again, has been trying week, uh, to say the least. You have things that happen in your personal life or, or church's life that cause you to stay forever on your knees talking to God. Things happened this week that have troubled me the more. Uh, in Philadelphia on Wednesday, 
60, 70 years old Vietnamese man doing what he does daily. Wake up in the morning about 4.30, by quarter to five, five o'clock, he is walking around the streets of Philadelphia to stay vital. community. Someone that everybody loves to say is my brother. About four houses from his house. And that man just comes up behind him and puts a gun to the police man's head. Blows his brains out. Doesn't stop to take anything out of his his necklace or his ring but just shoots him and keeps on walking. Some of us might not even walk up here. Might miss an hour. Might not have daily time to spend myself now, I'm just praying for those that I'm connected to. Because you could be minding your own business at the doctor's office going to get groceries. Taking your children off to school. Outside smoking a cigarette. devil will attempt to harm you. The world we live in is in a chaotic condition. If that wasn't enough on Wednesday, on Thursday, the Supreme Court Supreme Court is uh, the highest court in the land. You don't, you don't, you don't get higher than the Supreme Court. What the Supreme Court says goes. The first thing they did, G, was that uh, they overturned in the state of New York. Concealed carry. Supreme Court did it. And I don't know how long that law has been instituted in New York, but just like that, they overturned it. As if crime is not high enough now. And then later that afternoon, Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade, ending the right for a woman to have an abortion. Now, 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 before you get, before you get your undergarments in a bunch, hold on. <laughs> this, this is in no way a political message. You must understand what is going on in the world. I remember when I first got ordained, they gave me a Bible and a newspaper. Because you need to know what's going on in the land 
to understand what's going on written in the word. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. That's why, you know, it, it, would, it would behoove you at least uh, once a week to watch the news. Because as the word of God uh, is beginning to unfold in a greater manner, more you understand what's going on around you, the more you'll understand the black ink on the white pages of your Bible. If ever was a time that we ought to pray, the time is now. Prayer is not about the multiplicity of your words. But it is simply the sincere content or sentiment of your heart. It doesn't matter how good you can put the words together. O most wise and gracious God, our Father, the giver of every good and perfect gift. I pray today, God, to the one that stepped out on the panoply of nothing, spoke and said, let there be and there was. Somebody could just say, Jesus. And while I'm trying to get his attention with vain babblings, they done called on the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, demons tremble. At the name of Jesus, every knee. Got to bow. And every tongue shall confess. Are y'all walking with me today? In spite of all that's going on around us, we must still hold on to the testament that he still got the whole world in his hands. And if God has the whole world in his hands, that means you and me are in the hands of the master. If I'm in his hands, my stuff is in his hands. Y'all don't like this today. I said, if I'm in his hands, all my good and all my bad is in his hands. That means I think I'm in a whirlwind. But he has me in his hand. Three things I want to read in your hearing and pray for me. I'm going to holler and we're going to let you go. Uh, but first thing you must understand is God's plan is perfect even when it doesn't feel pleasant. I'm going to say that again. The plan of God is perfect even when it doesn't feel your trials are designed for your good and his glory. The Bible declares, and we know all things work together. Them that love the Lord and all the called according to his purpose. The Bible declares that we must count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptations, that means wherever I find myself, I've got to find joy. Are you with me this morning? Here we find this morning God is talking to the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah, that major prophet who declared that uh, before you were formed in the womb of your mother, I knew you. Not only Elder Carolyn did he know him, but he ordained him a prophet unto the nation. Jeremiah. Just like Jeremiah, all of us, God knows. 
just like Jeremiah, not only does God know us, but he has given us an assignment. It is our job, or it's incumbent upon every blood-washed believer to do their best in completing the assignment that God has given them. Do I have a witness? We must understand that trying to accomplish our assignment, there will be times that frustration will call our name. Times that heaviness and weightiness will be our portion. But if we learn to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, and where was that? And lean not to thine own understanding. But what? But in all thy ways. What we must do, Elder? Acknowledge. The Lord. What are you going to do? All right. He shall direct thy path. Can, can I finish now? All right. We want God's guiding hand. To direct our path. And this is why it is important for a believer to have their own relationship with the Lord. Because everyone's path is different. Some of our paths lead us down by the riverside. Some paths lead us through the mountain. Some of our paths have led us through the very bowels of hell. But God has kept us. I feel like preaching with all. Some of us here have had an easy life. Some of us had to cry ourselves to sleep every night. But through it all, we've learned to trust in Jesus. And we've learned to depend on his word. I've learned as a young man that I must lean and depend on Jesus every step of the way. Let's do something for the Lord this morning. I've learned that the road may be rough. But if I look toward the hills, from which cometh my help, my help don't come from TPP. My help don't come from my side peak. But my help comes from the Lord. God will put his people in positions to prove his power and provision toward us. Are you with me? We must realize that 
some trials. God didn't design for us to overcome. See, some of y'all want to go through it and come out real quick. Like you're driving through Harrington. <laughs> Felton. Some trials. God designed to keep you in for a while. Lexi, not because you've been out of his will, but so that he may get the glory out of your life. Paul, come help me preach this thing. Apostle, Apostle Paul, I believe in 2 Corinthians 12, declare that I had a thorn in my flesh. I realized that in my flesh, well, it's no good thing. I realize that this thorn that's in my flesh causes me to cuss every now and then. This thorn that's in my flesh causes a degree of depression to sit on my shoulder. This thorn that's in my flesh causes me to have a depth of distrust for people. I realize that I don't like feeling this way. I don't like having different emotions in my mind. I don't like looking at people with the side eye. So I did what my grandmother told me to do. <laughs> told me to bring your burdens to the law. And leave them there. Paul declared that I, I called a meeting with Jesus. And I didn't do Jesus like I did my friends. I told the Lord what was my problem. I told the Lord the truth. I said, I got a problem with cussing. I got a problem with uh, strawberry Hennessy. I got a problem with uh, Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. And I'm trying to live the best I can. But the more I try to live safe, the more this thorn eats at my flesh. I wish I had a witness here. I don't like fornicating. But every now and then it just calls my name. I don't like being a drunkard. But every now and then it calls my name. I don't like being a liar. But every now and then it calls my name. So rather than trying to deal with it, I brought it to the law. Paul declared I prayed and I cried. I cried and I prayed. Got up from prayer, went about my business, but the same thorn that had me on my knees called my name once again, and I did not succumb, but I went back to God, told the Lord this same thorn eating up my flesh. If you don't move the thorn, I can't preach right. If you don't move the thorn, I can't sing right. If you don't move the thorn, I can't live right. Because something that is in my flesh is holding me 
from serving you. Well, the Bible declares that God, after the third time, had a conversation with the apostle. And he declared that my grace, my grace is sufficient for you. Because the weaker you get, the stronger I am. So I got to say, power, let's get weak in our flesh. Power, let's tell the Lord, I lie, I sleep with married men. Tell the Lord, I get drunk on Thursdays. Tell the Lord, I don't know left from right. Cause the weaker our flesh gets, the stronger, God gets in our life. And when the Lord gets strong in our life, no weapon. You said I'm weak. I'm doing what you told me to do. I'm not talking to my friends. I'm talking to God. I'm not trying to fight it on my own. But I'm talking to God. Y'all, I'm getting ready to talk to you. Please, please hear what I'm getting ready to say. In the spirit. Y'all, y'all just take half a word. And go lie on Bishop. You got to stop going to your therapist. Oh, it got quiet. Oh, yeah. I threw the rock. Oh, yeah. Forget about you getting mad because you go through a therapist. Mm -hmm. I I'm waiting for you to get real mad now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for you to get real, real mad now. Nobody care about your therapist. Here's, here's the problem that I have with you to go to therapist. What do you do when you go to a therapist? You talk, and what does the therapist do? They listen. Here is what the enemy has done in the Pentecostal church. We used to bring stuff to the pastor, the first lady, the elders, and not only would we pray for you, but we would hold you accountable. We would say stuff like this. Yeah, they did that, but what did you do? What part of this are you culpable in? Because we want to talk about everybody else, but let's peel back the layer as it pertains to you. So because we got so comfortable in our skin, we stop going to places that hold us accountable, and we go to places now that we can just control the narrative. Therapist by trade can't rebut what you say. So now you can go to the therapist and lie on everybody. And if you're lying about a situation, how can a resolve come to that which you won't face? Y'all ain't talking back to me. You talking back to me? I was, I was, I was treated this way, and it wasn't right. No, it wasn't right. But what did you do to acerbate the treatment? See, when you go to God, <laughs> God talks back to you. I got biblical precedent, Mother Walker, but I just said Paul had a conversation with God. The first two times, God played the role of a therapist. He just listened, didn't say anything. But the third time, he played the role of the I am that I am. You need to know what you're going through is not because you're out of my will, but what you're going through is because you're in my will. Because when you are weak, I am Some of us don't want to be strong. We want to be pacified. We want to be coddled. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. And some of y'all in this church... Some of y'all on the live need to repent 
because some of us are culpable of coddling people. We're guilty of helping them. Hold folk accountable. Hold folk accountable. We learned that Thursday night. When I'm accountable to God, that means I'm open for inspection. I'm open for scrutinization. Hallelujah. God will put you. The operative word was God put you. And if God put you the same way he put you, he can remove you. You want me to tell them that too? Um, they're not going to like it. But I got to tell it. I got to tell it. Holy Ghost just told me to tell y'all real quick. He said the problem with some of y'all is some stuff you in, God didn't put you there in the first place. You blaming God on something he had nothing to do. The Holy Ghost, I didn't say it. Holy Ghost said it. Some of y'all in some stuff ain't got nothing to do with God. And you want God to bring you out? No, baby. You put yourself in there. So if you put yourself in there, get yourself out. We blaming God on stuff God ain't got nothing to do with. If God puts you there, he will give you the grace to be there. God put us in position, watch this, to prove his power and his provision. So well, let's be honest. Some of us got jobs we know we ain't supposed to have. We living in houses we know we can't afford. We driving cars you can't pay for. But you ain't missed the mortgage. You ain't missed the car note. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Even when I'm weak, he's strong. Even when I'm left, he's right. Even when I'm down, he's up. That's why the songwriter said, this joy that I had, the world didn't give it. And the world, when I point, that means somebody look at the back door. get out of here. But my first point was God's plan is perfect. Even when it doesn't feel pleasant. The second point was that God will put us in position to prove his power. And my last point is for I let you go. That God can restore that which we feel is now in ruins. I'm going to say that again. The condition looks bleak. The road looks rough. The weight seems heavy. But the God that you serve has the ultimate power to restore those things that you felt like could not get put back together again. I remember as a little boy round about kindergarten, I know y'all been growing all your life. <laughs> but there was a nursery rhyme. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. I said, Humpty. <laughs> Sat on the wall, <laughs> Humpty Dumpty <laughs> had a great fall. <laughs> all the king's horses <laughs> and all the king's men <laughs> tried and they tried, <laughs> but they could not <laughs> put him back together again. <laughs> Aren't you glad <laughs> that we don't bow <laughs> to the Supreme Court? <laughs> Aren't you glad <laughs> that we don't bow? to the president but there's a God that sits high he looks down low and he has everything in his hand man may not have the power to put it together but the Lord he declared that I will restore I will heal. I will mend. Yes, he will. You got to trust in him and hold to his hands. 
the hand of an unchanging God. And the word declares, and I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have devoured the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm which have taken from you. God declared, I will give it back unto you. Hang in there. I'm out of here. But the psalmist declared, be not dismayed. Whatever be tied, God will take care of you beneath his wings of love above. God will take care of you. I wish I had somebody in here today that can testify. Bishop, it's been a rough room. I wanted to quit, but the Lord took care of me. Did not know which way I was going to come out, but the Lord took care of me. Wanted to throw in the towel, but the Lord took care of me. And I can declare that he's got it in his hands. My family in his hands. My health in his hands. My mind in his hands. All of me is in the hands of the Lord. God, he declared he has given you the beauty for ashes, the oil for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of despair. Power, God's got it in his hands. Hold on a little while. Help is on the way. Be still and know it's in control. Hold on. Don't give up. Don't quit. Run this race with patience, trust, and believe. Never doubt. He promised. Yes, he did. Weeping. Weeping. May endure. For night, but joy, joy, joy is coming. Yeah. I said, joy, unspeakable, is on the way. You cry your last tear of sorrow, but now when I cry, it will be tears of joy, victory belongs to the believer. Power belongs to the believer. Say ya! Say ya! Say ya! Ah! Got away! Yeah! 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 I believe Victory is on the way. I believe power is on the way. I believe healing is on the way. I believe deliverance is on the way. He's a keeper. He's a deliverer. He's a way maker. Yeah. God, in my conclusion, wanted to reaffirm to Jeremiah. You, you, you experienced something rough. You lost some things. 
was chaotic to say the least. But I'm going to do right. I'm going to save, heal, deliver. I'm going to restore. I'm going to elevate. I'm going to strengthen. What more are we as God's chosen? As the ecclesia of God. The called out. Those that remain. If it was good enough for Jeremiah, then by faith, it must be good enough for you. If he said it, hold to it. The songwriter declared, Pastor Woodall, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold to his hand. Doesn't matter what happens in this world. I can trust in him. I'm going to hold on to him. God has blessed me and my wife over the last few years to accumulate to the Linda and a modicum of things. That's right, all right. Y'all ask her what it mean. I just know it sounded good. But I can lose it all. But I'm going to still preach the gospel. I lose it all. I'm going to still praise his name. The same God that was there for me when I had nothing. Promise me. It would never leave me nor forsake me. He said he'd be with me always. But if he's with me, then surely he can be with you. He's got us in his hands, y'all. Don't get so consumed with what's going on around you that you forget about what's going on in you. Oh, my God. I'm going to say that again. Don't get consumed with what's going on around you that you forget about what's going on in you. Most of us in this room today and those that are joining us on the stream have got at least one testimony of the guiding hand of God on your life. And surely, in the words of my good friend Ty Tribbett, if he did it before, he'll do it again. You are in his hand. You are in his hand. You are in his hand. And if all of us, I'm done, are in his hand, let us be mindful of our brother and sister. The Bible says, those of you that find yourself overtaken in a fall, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. What? Considering thyself, which means the same grace that you want extended to you is the same grace that you want extended to someone else. See, now I got to say it. Some of y'all need to repent. You're a bunch of sanctified uppity Negroes is what you is. I'm sorry, Rhino, I'm sorry. You're not an uppity Negro. Your wife not an uppity. Sis, you're not an uppity Negro either. I was just sitting in the back in the blue. You're not an uppity Negro. I'm talking to the people I passed out there. Y'all online now. What camera am I on, Cleo? Y'all yeah. not, not uppity Negroes either. No, 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 no. I'm just talking to the ones I passed. Y'all not uppity Negroes. I want you to come back next week. It's the uppity Negroes that I passed. Them. They want, they want, they want, they, they, they want, they want grace when they find themselves in a fault. But they want to be the judge, jury, and executioner when somebody do something to them. No, the same way you wanted grace. You 
know Mother Walker? I dated a girl named Grace one time. Wasn't nothing gracious about her. Oh. She was graceless. But we have to remember, if God has got the whole world in his hand, we've got to, be, we've got to stop being so critical of one another. You knew what it took to get you to where you are. So let us be mindful of the person that's coming behind you that might not be walking in the same trajectory as you. I'm saying for the people in the back, I'm saying it for everybody. Everybody. Be mindful. I was taught you don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Some of y'all don't know about that. You can't forgive folk. Folk ain't going to forgive you. Y'all quiet. Y'all want me to get back to the who? No, nah, let's talk a little bit. You got to remember what it took to get you. I know you saved now. Oh, you good and saved now. I know you speaking ta-ta-ta-ta. I know ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. I know. I know. I know now. Let's go back about five years. When you came to church smelling like last night's sex. No, y'all ain't going to say amen to me. It's all right. And we hugged you. And we embraced you. We took you to the supermarket and bought food for your house. Didn't make you feel like nothing but a child of God. God cleans your life up. Now, because somebody comes behind you with the same stench, now you want to damn them to hell. You're wrong. And I got to tell you, you're wrong. If you smell like last night's sex, that means you ought to know what last night's sex smelled like so that you could embrace that to help them get delivered too. I don't know what strawberry Hennessy is. But some of my children do. We ain't calling no names. I like this new church. They tell on they sell. We do. I know Bishop. They need to know. Because God going to send some more folk in here. Smelling like strawberry Hennessy. And when God delivered the we do ones, they're going to be able to minister to the ones coming behind them. See, y'all don't like this kind of preaching. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching. You think that everybody just both gets saved when they come out of the mother's womb. That's why you still struggling now. I got, I got, I got biblical precedent to back up my preaching. Some of y'all think I just be babbling. But I got Bible. Apostle Paul said, I became all things to all men that I might win them to Christ. I don't know Strawberry Hennessy, but somebody do. And somebody needs to, to minister to the Strawberry Hennessy drinker. I don't, I don't know about Bel Air Rose, but I know what it looked like. I know what that bottle feel like. Because I have to minister to those Bel Air Rose drinking individuals. Because everybody needs God. And God just don't look like what we do here on Sunday. Rhino, God is in Miami on the yacht. He was supposed to be there, Rhino. That's my brother Rhino right there. That's the Rhinos right there. Nah, they done, they done mothered me. Got friends from D.C. Thank God for them being with us on today. You talking about good, solid people? Right there, good, solid people. If we're going to be the church that the world is looking for in the last and in the days, we got to stop being fake and phony. Like, don't nobody in this church do nothing. Got to be honest. Because the world is looking for honesty. Spirit of depression sent on me this morning. I had to fight it off, Lexi, Jonathan. 
I fought all this. I'm telling you how the devil do, Mother Loper. I fought this week hard, Mother Loper. Pineapples, strawberries, and, and watermelon. I was drinking that Iaso tea. I was getting on the treadmill doing one mile, three, four, five times a day. I was doing good. Got on that scale Friday, I had lost three pounds. I said, go on, Cannon, to bad self. I said, I can see this thing. I'm going to lose this weight fast. Went out to dinner last night. Had a, had a half a steak, a little bit of rice. A salad and half a funnel cake. It's my birthday. I was with the rhino. Got on the scale this morning. The scale said, I gained four pounds. I said, well, damn. <laughs> no, I'm trying to help somebody. No, uh-uh, y'all laughing. I'm trying to help somebody. No, y'all laughing. Hold up. Hold up, y'all laughing, and I'm serious, because, because here is why, here is why, hear me. Here is why I'm so sympathetic to my sinners that go to my church and those that don't. Because your sin may be fornication, your sin may be adult, whatever your sin is. You don't know the struggle that I had with trying to drop this weight. So I know what it's like to struggle in any kind of proclivity. That's why I'm understanding of my members, especially when you're honest with your walk with God. I know what, it, hear me clearly, I know what it's like to try as hard as you can all week. And then my wife will tell you, I'm not making this up, I'm not lying, all week. Watermelon, pineapple, strawberry, tea, cardio. And I see the result. And a half a funnel cake, half a steak, half a bowl of rice, and a salad. And I don't think y'all got what I said. I lost three pounds on Thursday. But this morning it said I gained four, which means that was a move of seven. So now I'm literally standing in the bathroom this morning. Get back on the scale. Get off the scale. Get back on the scale. Get off the scale. Wife talking about, come on, we got to get to church. I said, I'll be there when I get there. Then this, I'm trying to help somebody. Then I did this. I got on the scale, Rhino, and my shower was right next to my scale. I put my hand on the shower, right, and pulled up a little bit. Then when I went to bend over to look, Sonics, I'm literally in my bathroom fighting depression, coming to preach to y'all. Because I did the best I could this week. And y'all can come in here and act like y'all got it all together week after week and month after month. Bishop Cannon has done one thing in 15 years, and that's been honest and transparent with all of you. It's rough. It's hard. I don't care how well you dance and shout and give it an offering. There are some weeks it just don't work. So now, I'm like depressed. Coming down my stairs. Like, man, I'm a preacher now. And all God kept saying was, you got to finish your time. Come downstairs. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm fat. I'm going to get winded. And God kept saying, you got to finish the assignment. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. 
It gets heavy sometimes, but you got to finish the assignment. You might dip sometimes, but you got to finish the, I got to work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Now, let me say this. I don't want nobody in my inbox either talking about, Bishop, freeze the banana, put a toothpick in it, eat the whole banana with a pickle and a pepper, and you'll lose weight. It worked for me in 79. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> I ain't eating no pickle and no pepper and no banana frozen because it worked for you. What works for you ain't going to work for me. Just like what worked for me. The only thing we all got in common is Jesus. That's the only thing we got in common. Because I know folk that do cardio live, live in the gym and still can't lose no weight. I know folk that don't eat no meat at all, they vegan and still can't lose weight. So what happens when you try to do all the things right and you still don't see no change? Hallelujah. You got to hang in there. He's got you in his hand. He's got you in his hand. I'm done. But he's got you in his hand. God, we thank you today for what our ears have heard and our hearts have felt. We trust and pray, God, that something has been said today that's been edifying to these, your people. God, make us who and what you've called us to be. Just like you spoke to Jeremiah and, and and re 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 reaffirmed and restored unto him and encourage him, God, do the same thing to us. We're looking at this world and all the things that are going on in the world, God, and sometimes it, it could be easy for us to lose hope. But help us to know, God, that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And although things may be chaotic all around us, God, there's still a degree of peace on the inside of us. Things that we don't have an understanding, but let us know that your peace passeth all understanding help us to guard our heart and our mind I pray for every believer today God that's under the sound of my voice meet the need in their life strengthen us God and we shall be strengthened heal us God and we shall be healed lead us God and we shall be led I pray for that believer today God that has an unspoken prayer request you know what they need hear their prayer hearken to their call it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Did in our hearts burn? Amen. As our bishop opened up the scriptures to us. Amen. Clap your hand for our bishop. Amen. Clap your hand for the word of God. Amen. As we all know, amen, this week coming is our bishop's birthday. This is our bishop's birthday month and week. Amen. And we as a people called power, we said in our hearts, amen, to be a blessing to our pastor, to our bishop. Amen. We all had obligations and we have received some of them. So at this time, amen, we're going to ask you, amen, to come forward, amen, those that have not given, those that have not given as of yet. I know there are some of you. Some of you have been on the cash app. Amen. Some of you have given to Bishop's cash app. Amen. But we want you, amen, to come forward. Oh, yeah. Amen. To, uh, to receive, amen. Um, your love for your bishop. This is what this is. This is your love for our bishop. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on with. Hallelujah. Amen. Is that everybody? Is, is that all of it in there? I'm sorry. I gave mine. And 
I even gave more than what I asked you to give. That's what leadership does. Amen. Amen, Bishop. We as the people of power and praise. We as the people of power and praise, we love you. We thank God for your sacrifice. Amen. I have been here under a year and I have seen, amen, a lot of what you do for the people. Amen. I've seen the sacrifices that you and your wife had made. Amen. And you're worthy of a hundred times what is in this, in this, in this bag. Amen. But this is our appreciation towards you. This is our love towards you. And I want you to take it and do whatever you see in your heart with it. We love you for everything you've done for us, everything you've done for me, a lot you've done for me thus far. Amen. I thank you for your wisdom. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your yes. I thank you that you didn't quit. I thank you that you keep coming every Sunday. I thank you that you have determination. I love you. And we love you as the people of power and praise. Praise the Lord. Thank y'all again. Is uh, that one right there? Mother Hodges on there. <laughs> Mother Hodges, we thank God. Amen. Uh, all the members that are on, we love you guys. Um, we can't see you, uh, you know, COVID, it is what it is, but we love you all. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for what you've done. Uh, more than this, keep us in prayer. Uh, my wife and I, it gets rough sometimes, but we declared in our hearts, this is our assignment. We're not going to quit. We're not going not gonna to retire, not going to do none of that. We are committed uh, to the work of the Lord and to the people uh, of power. We are greater together, and God has greater things in store for us. So whoever's on there, I wish we, I wish I could see sometimes who be on, like on that TV back there. I could call their name out when I'm preaching. Hodges, I see you. <laughs> who else on there from the church? Elder Carolyn, you want to tell me who else is on? Who? Makuda Mata. Coco Harrell, hey. If she on there, you already know, like, I ain't, I ain't got the words right now, but if her family was to come back in this church, we, her family alone would force us to go to, to, to another service. Like, I got to share the testimony. I know we all not pass the word on them time. Um, I'm sorry, Pastor Woodall. Their mother, God rest their mother's soul, uh, their mom came to our church one time, 
and, and they're from Miami, but they live up here now. And she saw this preacher, this bald-headed, bearded preacher. And she went back and told her children, y'all got to come see this preacher in Harrington. Look like Rick Ross. <laughs> hey, however, whatever. But they came to the church, and they came in one Sunday. And God knows the whole side of the church. Um, and we've just been rocking ever since. Y'all might not see them, but they love Bishop Ken, love uh, Lady Ken. They love Power and Praise, and we love them. We are connected. It's people that y'all don't. Here's why you got to be careful. Because it's people some of y'all ain't never saw that fly the flag of power and praise. And they don't come here and shout on Sunday like y'all. They dance. And but they, they cuss too. And you say the wrong thing around the wrong person, you're going to wonder why you got getting up off the ground. So anybody that's on the live, we love you guys. We thank you. You could go anywhere. Um, Here is why, y'all hear me, here is why you have to be careful at this stage in your life. My, my oldest uncle called me this week. And his lady friend, a retired lieutenant from the Baltimore Police Department, his lady friend, streams every Sunday. it just did something to me. Sister Mary shared with me about three weeks ago now some people that stream every Sunday and I had no clue. Like y'all that I see every week that talk about me and my wife and treat us like dirt. It's people in this world that love us. And hear me clearly, it ain't all y'all that do it. But it's folk that I'm hearing every week and don't just pop in on the stream. They every Sunday come to it. And they don't have to do it. They have options. But they stream our ministry. And it's not about me. It's about all of us. And I just want to commend you guys. Let us keep on doing what God has called for us to do. I know it gets crazy sometimes. I know your life gets hectic sometimes. But you can make it. You just got to want to make it. So thank you all. God bless you all. I love you all. We got to get out of here. Uh, but we'll see you all next week. I will be here next week. All right, D? All right. God bless you.